Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. My name is Tashana, for those of you who do not know me. I am a makeup artist and a hairstylist. Thank you so much for watching my video. So today's video is going to be about my experience at Lori Mercier. So um, I actually had an opportunity to meet Mario Dodonovic yesterday, which is actually Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. Um, for those of you who do not know him, he is a celebrity makeup artist, like he's the king of contour, honey, like he is the kind, okay? He is definitely one of my favorite makeup artists and just to have the opportunity to just see him be doing like what he loved and just like his artistry and just like to be a part of like this event was just so phenomenal. Like. I had a awesome time, like awesome time. So I want to share with you guys my experience at this event. So this is a little bit different from the master class. Um, he did do a master class here in Chicago. I believe it was around fall of last year or something like that. Um, I was not able to attend that class, so I was really heartbroken about that. So I was just like been stalking his page and his master class and stuff like that, just trying to see when the next opportunity I would have to like really be able to experience this class because I've seen so many videos about his class. I've seen so many people talk about how just amazing his class was and just how it kind of just really help them creatively as a makeup artist and just for makeup lovers period so it was just very awesome so i did get a bag of goodies like from this event with laurier mercier which i will be sharing with you guys in this video um so excited i did go to the video um to the event yesterday so i have not like used any other products or anything yet i will be doing a different video showing you guys like how i use the products from the um the show the event so um just to get back into it i did write some things down so i won't forget about this experience or things that i want to share with you guys because it's just so much like yesterday I was just like so overwhelmed with excitement like it was just so awesome um, basically it was a private invite how I actually got selected Mario did do like a short I believe it was a video or a picture or something and he said that he's gonna be doing an event with Laurier Mercier he's gonna be coming to Chicago you actually have to sign up for the event and see if you'll get chosen so I actually signed up for the event with no expectations at all. I didn't think that they were going to call me. I didn't think that they were going to like hit me back and be like, hey, you know, you're invited to the event. I didn't think any of that. I'm just like, okay, let me just sign up, whatever. So actually, after I signed up a couple days later, I received a call from a cosmetic manager who works with Laurier Mercier. And she pretty much just explained to me everything that I needed to do to be a part of the event. And she sent me a email with um, an itinerary, which had the whole day planned out. So when I first actually got downtown Chicago, because it was downtown Chicago um, at Nordstrom's, when I first actually got down there, um, I had to check in my code, I had to let them know I was there, and then they had appointment set up where you can actually get your makeup done by a Laurier Mercier artist. So me being a makeup artist that I am, like I really don't trust people doing my makeup. Like I don't care how long you've been doing makeup. I just know what looks good on me. I know what don't looks good on me. And I'm just really good at perfecting my makeup. So with this event, I just pretty much just went in and was just like, look, I'm going to let somebody else do my makeup. I'm not going to, you know, um, be feeling very anxious about it. I'm going to just do it or whatever. So I did do my own brows. You know, I did do like a very simple eyeshadow. I believe I use, I don't remember what color I use, but I use a very simple eyeshadow. I put on some lashes and I put on a little BB cream and I went down there. And the makeup artist, she did do a very light foundation, a very light concealer, and then she did like some um, translucent powder, and then she did like a bronzer, and then she put like this very like pinky blush on my cheeks, and 
I like almost flipped out because like it looked it horrible. Like I do not like super crazy pigmented blushes like on my cheek. Like I don't like it. So good thing that I did bring my own little makeup bag. So I had a backup because I was not about to be me Mario looking looking extra and basic. Like no. Mm -mm. So I had to get get myself together if you know what I'm saying like I had to get it all the way together so after I got my makeup done I kind of went like to the bathroom to just fix some things that I didn't like she even put like this very like cherry colored like gloss on me and I just was not feeling it I was just like no this is not me like I don't really feel comfortable in this makeup so I completely changed everything I think I did like a nude lip and I use kind of like a bronzer. Uh, no, I use actually um, a mineralized powder just to kind of like blot out some of that blush that she put on. But um, other than that, like I did like my makeup, but you know, anybody who has um, bought any products from L'Oreal Mercier, if you know anything about the brand, they use very, very, very light concealer and foundation and everything just looks very, 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 very natural and it's all about the skin. So that's just how the brand is. Um, I do like those kind of looks for certain kind of events. Um, I am pretty much more of like a medium coverage type of girl. Like I do like a little coverage. Not that I need it because my skin looks good, but I just like to have on makeup and I just want to look like I have on makeup, but I don't want it to look like too cakey or anything like that. So that was just my whole experience with the makeup. So after the makeup, we had a mixer where um, you got a wristband and then you were allowed to go into the room where he was gonna be doing the full presentation with the model. Um, this place was just set up so beautiful and elegant like the whole room was just like wide and they had like these beautiful like flower arrangements everywhere and they had like these servicers who came over with like um they had like these little rice um they're like sushis little rice things with like fruit on the top of them i guess they were like vegetarian or vegan sushis or something and then um we had champagne and then um, they had like these little rice noodles and the little cups. Like it was just very nice how they set up everything. Uh, we did actually receive some free gifts. They gave us this bag, which was really cute. We got this really cute bag full of goodies. I got this Laurier Mercier book that I showed you guys. And Mario actually signed this book for me. So that right there was just like amazing for me that I had his signature in my book while I kept my notes for his class. So that was awesome. Um, this event was very private. It was very different from like his regular master class. Um, from the videos that I've seen, the, his master class is, is more in like an auditorium type of style. Um, there's usually like thousands of people there. This class was about 100 to 140 guests who were actually there. Um, there were a lot of makeup artists there. There were a lot of people who were not makeup artists, but they were just makeup lovers. They were there also. So the event was just very more private and more intimate. And then, you know, you were able to ask questions. You were able to hear the answer to the questions. It wasn't like it was just so many people in there. It was just so loud, so much noise going on that you really didn't feel like you got that full experience. This was an awesome experience. So I'm just glad that I was a part of it and I was able to get the experience. Um, I'm not really gonna share like too much of his tips and tricks because I don't really wanna spoil it for people who's gonna go to the masterclass or who plan on seeing him, whether you are a makeup artist or just a makeup lover. I don't want anybody to do that, so I'm not really gonna like do all of that. However, I will tell you one thing though. I asked him a question and I was just like, you know, I was like, what is your favorite lash brand to use? Like with so many different brands out, you know, lash brands out, like what is your favorite? Like what is your go-to like lashes? And he said Ardell, like I love Ardell lashes. 
Like, he was like, I use the individuals. I use the strips. He's like, those are my favorites. Those are my go-to. And I was just like, yes. Like, I love Ardell. Like, seriously. Like, lashes sometimes can be expensive. So, with Ardell, boo, you could go in there and, like, get you about eight or nine pair, probably for about a good twenty dollars like i was like okay mario know how to how to budget honey okay i see him so i was really excited that he loved our nail lashes because i do too so um that was really you know a uh, really cool thing that I was able to get from him that he do love Ardell lashes. Another thing is when he was doing the model and he was doing the eye look and he was in the crease blending out the color, he was using a brush and one of the girls in the audience was like, what kind of brush are you using? And he was like, my brush. And she was like, what's the brand? He was like, my brush. So he was very limited on the information that he did give. Um, he wasn't giving a lot of his tricks, you know, people were asking questions and he was like, oh, that's a secret. I can't really tell that, da, 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 which I understand, you know, at the end of the day, like nobody's giving out all eight tricks and secrets, honey. Like I'm going to give you a few, but I'm not going to give you like everything. I really don't know if he do that in the master class based off the videos that I've seen. He really don't give a whole lot of tips and tricks there either you know so um it's more it was based on it to me the whole experience is just kind of pretty much just watching him and engaging in the way that he was just doing the makeup and just pretty much watching the products that he was using and I was just like okay like this is awesome so I did kind of learn a lot off of just watching him so hopefully that kind of helps some people if they're planning on going to see him. You know, maybe he do give more information to Masterclass. I'm not 100% sure. He used all Laurier Mercier products. And when I tell you his model was gorgeous, her skin was glowy. The look was very glamorous. It was very classic. Like she looked like she could just like hop in a beautiful gown and just like go on a runway. Like she looked at phenomenal like the makeup was just super 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 gorgeous so he does like creating those uh very glamorous makeup looks very timeless looks and i love that because trends do fade and those kind of looks that he creates don't really go out of style you know so i really appreciate that he did one of those kind of looks um like i said he answered a lot of questions and the presentation was about an hour, hour 30 minutes long. It was, no, it was about an hour 30 minutes long. So after the presentation, you know, he asked for all of us to like, you know, say hi on his Instagram page and stuff like that, which was really cool. Um, he, then at that point, the management staff kind of got us all together and they were just like, okay, let's get together. You guys are gonna go downstairs and do a meet and greet. So we waited in line and we took pictures with him. That's where I got my book signed. And um, you were only allowed to take one picture with him and go. That's it. He was actually taking the picture. He held everybody's phone and did like a selfie. There was really no full body pictures unless you came with somebody who could take a picture of you while you were in line. Which I kind of met some cool girls while I was there. So they got some good pictures of me. So I was so excited to have those pictures. But anyways... Yeah, so when we were taking a selfie, he I walked up to him and was like, oh my God, you know, I'm just so excited to finally meet you. I love your work. I love your artistry. You know, you're such an amazing artist. And I was like, could you please sign my book? So he signed my book for me and you pulled to take one selfie. He took three with me. And once he got done down to the third picture, he was like, we slayed that. And I was like, yes, we did, honey. We sure did slay that. And it was just so funny because I'm like, he is so humble and just like, so down to earth. And I was just like, so excited. You know, like usually you see these makeup gurus, you know, you be around or if you or if you ever experience being around some uh celebrity or some person with some sort of a fame you know you just always feel 
sometimes you just feel like maybe they're not humbled or you feel some kind of way but mario was just so down to earth like he was such a cool guy and i was just so excited to experience um his class so it was awesome so i just want to get into uh some of the things that i actually got from his class which i got quite a few goodies so i got the laurier mercier bronzer and this is the matte radiance baking powder so this is different from the translucent powder this is just like a setting powder that you'll use to set your foundation which is really cute Take that off so you can see so the makeup artist who did my makeup she did use this and i do like it it's very lightweight it kind of almost remind you of mac mineralized powder doesn't give you a uh, mac mineralized skin finish powder i'm sorry so it's not really going to give you like a lot of coverage it's really going to like set your makeup and look very nice and this is also a uh, black ebony which is the cake eyeliner this liner is so beautiful like when i tell you it's dark it's dark like it's dark what I like about it is, it's powder, and if you wet it, it's a liquid. So you can use it wet or dry, which I actually love that. You can also use it as an eyeshadow too. So I thought that was really cool. I definitely had to have that. Another thing that I got was the Full Blown Volumizing Lash. This is the lash building mascara this is one of the mascaras that he used this is actually black and he said this was his favorite so one of his favorites so your girl had to have it you know and i'll just show you the one on how that looks kind of long but definitely have to have that I actually have some foundation which is in the color pecan and this is the new Laurier flawless fusion long wearing foundation so I cannot wait to use this like can't wait so I will be doing another video well I'll be using like all the products from this event and I'll be creating a look and showing you guys like how awesome that's going to look. So another thing is I got like this really cool box. I don't know if it's, is that upside down? I don't think so. I got like this really cool box, like super cute. Full of goodies in here. Let's just see how much how it looks. It's a bunch of stuff in there. I was so excited because like we did have to spend like a certain amount of money to be a part of the event and I was really excited because I'm like I've tried Laurier Mercier translucent powder like I've heard so much good stuff about them I definitely want to try more of their products and this is a great opportunity for me to try products to learn about the brand to learn new tricks and tricks by you know the king Mario himself so I was just like wow this is just awesome like super awesome um, this is Laurier Mercier Foundation Primer. This is high, a hydrating primer. On the back of it, it states that it is gel, lightweight water-based gel. So it is a gel. So that's really cool. And then this really cool sponge came in there. Thought that was super cute. This is also a Laurier Mercier Secret brightening powder so you will use this to highlight certain areas like underneath your eye if you want to do a little highlight and contour this is a brightening powder which is different from a translucent powder and this is the famous translucent powder by Laurier Mercier which I've already I already have this but I have like the smaller version so I was so excited to get like the big one 
I cannot wait to use this. Can't wait. And here is a lipstick. It's called Sensential. Ooh. Look how gorgeous that is. Beautiful. Nice, beautiful nude pink. I usually don't like, you know, nude pinks. I like more coral, peachy nudes. But that one's kind of cute. If I didn't have any lipstick on, I would definitely, like, try it and see how I like it. But since I have all my red lipstick, you know, I'm not going to, like, take it off and try it. But I will post that up in the next video when I try and use all these products to create a look. So this is the... Um, face luminizer which is actually a highlighter and this is the color addiction this is one of the highlighters that he used on the model he did put it in her tear duct he put a little bit like over her brow bone which was super cute look how beautiful that is that looks so gorgeous oh don't that look like silk like it just looks so fancy and gorgeous like I don't even want to use this it's how pretty it is I love the packaging it's so cute so cute and the last thing that's in the box is the caviar stick eye color which is in the color copper which is so beautiful he actually used this on the model as well. He put this all over her lid. So I'm gonna swatch that so you guys can see how beautiful that color is. I cannot wait to do a look with this. Like, it is so bomb. Bomb diggity. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful thing. So I got like a lot of good stuff, which I'm so excited about. Thank you guys for watching my video and hearing about my experience with the master himself. Um, I will be posting a video soon, creating a look using all of the products that I got from the event. I am just so excited that I was a part of this. Like, I definitely love Mario and he's such a great artist to learn from and to finally have met him is like a dream come true for me, like as an artist. He's definitely one of those artists that I, that I definitely love. So it was an honor and a pleasure to meet him. He was phenomenal. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please make sure that you comment, subscribe, and make sure you share my video. And I will be posting more videos soon. So always remember to shine bright, honey, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching my video. See you soon.